Hey up YouTube and welcome back to the channel and to part 7 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. After defeating the motorball, Cloud starts to contemplate what all of this means and he decides he needs to settle the score with Sephiroth. The gang climb down a wire at the end of the highway and it's on to the neighbouring town of Calm. On arrival, they decide to meet up at the inn and despite following the buggers inside straight away, Barrett has the f***ing audacity to tell him that he's late. The gang want to hear Cloud's story about the crisis for the planet, so Cloud obliges. Look, this is a really story heavy segment of the game. So I'll give you the abridged version. Cloud joined Soldier at the age of 16 and was thrilled when he found out that his first proper assignment was on a mission with his childhood hero, Sephiroth. They were tasked with investigating a malfunctioning Marco reactor in Mount Nibble, which rather coincidentally is where Cloud is from. On arrival, Sephiroth quizzes Cloud on what it's like to be back home and proceeds to tell his travelling cohort that he doesn't have a hometown, his mother is called Genova and his father was a f***ing waste of oxygen. Sephiroth then tells Cloud that he can visit his family and friends with- Wait, 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 stop the recap. What? Look, I know, I'm sorry, but I've been playing this game for 25 years and not once have I ever noticed this. Watch this soldier guy. Watch this soldier guy. Stops and stares at the well. Stops and stares at Tifa's house. He turns, turns around straight away there, stares at the well. Stairs at Tifa's house. <laughs> Square. Dropping breadcrumbs since 1997. Wow. I honestly don't know whether that is truly an Easter egg or not, but let me know in the comments below if you've ever spotted this before. Anyway, Cloud and Sephiroth wake in the morning to be escorted to the reactor in Mount Nebel by a young girl called Tifa. Yeah, that Tifa. When they arrive at the reactor, Cloud and Sephiroth discover that Hojo... Yes, that Hojo has been creating monsters for his scientific research within the reactor itself. Upon seeing this, Sephiroth enters into a fit of rage claiming that he must have been made this way too because he's f***ing solid. He then decides to lock himself in the basement of Shinra Manor in the centre of the village, trying to piece together his past. Now bored of waiting for him to come out, Cloud decides to try and get him out of his funk. But unfortunately for him in the village, this is a ridiculous oversight. Sephiroth explains how he is the last of a race called the Cetra, and that Genova, yes, that Genova, is in fact his mother, and he was a product of the Genova Project, a super soldier. He leaves the basement of the Shinra mansion and thinks, f*** this, I'm having a barbecue. Cloud follows Sephiroth back up to the reactor in Mount Nebel, where he squared off against him, which surely resulted in the battle for the ages. You are? That's it? We pick up what supplies we need with the little gill we have, head out of Calm and across the grasslands. We eventually land at the Chocobo Farm, where we pick up our first piece of summer materia and get ready to cross the marsh. Now, normally at this point, we'd buy Chocobo Billy's Chocobo Law materia for 2,000 gil. <laughs> and catch ourselves a Chocobo. Problem with this is, as we've got random encounters turned off, we're not going to find one. So we position ourselves on the edge of the marsh and get ready to leg it. And guys, you won't believe what happened next. Oh, man. oh. Okay, well, that's never happened before. Did anybody else know that that happened? I'm now right where I need to be. I, I, I was expecting to have to run across. All right, let's go. Has that ever happened to any of you before? Let me know in the comments down below. So we make our way through the Mithril Mines, grabbing a few goodies on the way, and the all-important long-range materia, before making our way over to the harbour town of Junin to prepare for the next boss of the game. Hey up YouTube, and welcome back to part 7 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. As you've just seen in the uh, recap video, we have uh, gone through Cloud's past, where we've learned a little bit, bit about him and his time in Soldier. We have crossed the grasslands, we have picked up the Chocomog materia. May have encountered a slight glitch in getting across the marsh. I was fully expecting to have to full pelt that over there, trying to make sure that the, uh, the Zolan was in a little part of the map where we have got free reign to run across, but based on where I was positioned, 
I don't know if that was a glitch or not. I have never encountered that before. But we made it across. And it, here we are. We have arrived in Junin Harbour. Uh, we are just about to take on the bottom swell fight. So, yeah, let's uh, have a look at the character loadout, shall we? So, first of all, we'll start with Cloud. Now, there's not um, an awful... I've given Cloud an all materia along with Lightning and Ice. This boss... Do you remember Reno and those little pyramids that he did? Well, this boss does a similar thing, but... When he puts your character into this bubbly thing, their HP actually starts draining. And you can't actually physically attack them. They need to be magically attacked. So I've selected an all materia to go with this lightning materia in the hope that, you know, we can do some damage to him. And if there's a, uh, a bubble that needs bursting, uh, we can do that. Also picked up the long range materia um, from the uh, mithril mines or mithril mines, whatever you want to call it. This just allows Cloud to be in the back row at all times, so he's going to take significantly less damage with him being in the back row. So that's what we've done for Cloud. Moving on to Barrett. Again, it's pretty bog standard with Barrett. Restore and all, cover and fire. And Red 13 has also got an all materia paired with fire, again, to pop those nasty little bubbles should they appear. Uh, we've given him the uh, Choco Mug materia and um, a poison and enemy skill. Um, I don't really know why. In fact, actually, we can prob probably get rid of that and put something else on him. One second. We don't need the enemy skill materia. Um, let's chuck steel on. Let's chuck steel on. We're not going to be using it, but there we go. Right then, so yeah, we're just about to face Bottom Swell, and there's a little girl that's uh, in need of uh, our help. Uh, a little girl and a dolphin are in need of our help. So uh, yeah, let's go and um, let's go and kick uh, Bottom Swell's ass, uh, shall we? Right then, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh wow, two limit breaks. When did that happen? Um, right, uh, big shot, uh, sled fang. Jesus Christ, that hurt. And Cloud can attack. What's he doing next? Tail attack. Thank you for the block. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see Choco Mog for the first time in the series, shall we? Just wait. Oh, actually, yeah, let's use a fire, shall we, for a change. Instead of attacking with him, let's use a fire, see what that does. Jesus Christ, would you stop it? What's he doing now? What are we doing? Right, okay, Cloud's got a limit break. you for that. Right, I'm 51. That's not very good, is it? Uh, right. Oh, he can't reach you, pudding. Are you? That was silly. Cross slash. Red 13. Right, you can then, you can now fire. Then that should pop that bubble, and it does. Right, uh, maybe you can use Bolt, because your normal attacks aren't doing much. Did I give Red 13 any other magic materia? Yeah, I did fire. Uh, you can fire as well. You know what, let's, let's just go all out. Let's just go all guns blazing with some, fight, uh, with some magic, shall we? Oh, big wave. Barrett's got a limit. Oh, what? I wonder if I can poison him. Let's see if I can poison him next time. Uh, okay, that's Barrett. Yeah, fire. Uh, you can't. Hey, let's try poison. I'm going to have to pop that balloon again. Balloon? Balloon? Bubble. Bubble. Mm -hmm. 
by it. Do you know what? I completely wasn't even paying attention. Did that even did that even damage it? I know poison can sometimes be a little bit dodgy, can't it? Oh, it does. Oh, fantastic. And he is poison. Lovely. Big wave. Let's try ice. Is he going to kill himself? No, not yet. Oh, uh, Barry, you can cure Red 13. And you can do Sled Fang. All seems to be going to plan so far. Big wave. Is this when he kills himself? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Brilliant. Lovely stuff. Well, that's uh, bottoms well. Done. And some nice experience in the process. Lovely. And a powerist that uh, raises strength, I believe. Right then. Well, that was it. Thank you ever so much for tuning in to this episode. We're now going to um, crack on um, with the next part of the game. Um, this is where we'll uh, infiltrate the uh, Shinra cargo ship heading over to the lovely, sunnier climbs of Costa del Sol. Once again, thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you do enjoy this content, please do give us a like. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Hit that notification bell for when it goes live. My name's Matt better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.